All right, Reds, it is the preview show. Previewing Liverpool v Manchester United, Anfield, 8 o'clock, Tuesday. Come around quick, that, hasn't it? Um, ordinarily, eh, this one's absolutely huge. It is It is still huge. I mean, you know, we're going for a title. We're in this whole quadruple thing and all the rest of it. But I think just because Man United are so bad, mm. that it, it doesn't feel like that edge. I've seen some red say, you know, don't get complacent about this. So, you know, when you think about all that's gone, gone on in the past, like, you know, we'd beat them when we were crap and they'd beat us when they were crap and all of this kind of stuff. But... I just think, you know, when you look at all the facts and you look at how the sides have played this season, you look at the situations of the two clubs, a 19-point gap between the sides, huge odds as well. I mean, I, I, I've honestly never seen the likes of this. So Liverpool 11-4 to four on to win. United 13-2 to two it's mad, to come to Anfield yeah, and get yeah. a win. It is mad, isn't yeah, it? I mean, it is. And it's, it, it's a wild time because... You're looking at the name and the reputation mm. and you're thinking of your own history perhaps more than you are about what you're actually going to be playing. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think you have to massively fancy Liverpool, obviously. Yeah. I do know what people are saying about you know, football can sometimes just you know punch you in the face a little bit and the unexpected can happen. What I would say though, Robbo, is whenever I've watched United and I've watched them quite a bit, it's not only a lack of quality at times, it's a lack of fight. Mm. It's a lack of desire. It's, yeah, a lack of, yeah, yeah. it's a lack of giving a shit. You know, that re that game against Everton has been referenced a lot, but it, honestly, it's one of the poorest games of football I can remember seeing. And I'm not just saying it to dig them two hours, I just mean, from a quality point of view, there was just so little yeah. in it. Um, and obviously, United are on the end of a, a, a poor result as well on the day, but you just didn't see anything from them. And, you know, United in the past... You know, not necessarily going back to Ferguson's days, but even just maybe 12 months, two years ago, you would have seen them maybe offer a little bit more. I don't think it's worked particularly well at all, or any thing. Um, and I don't know whether they'd be, they'd be any better off if Solskjaer had stayed. I mean, he was a poor manager, there's no doubt about that. You can't get away from that at all. But they look less of a threat to me now as well, even you know playing away from home on yeah. the break. So they do look in a lot of trouble. Obviously, they get the win at the weekend. You know, but even that, it's thanks to you know Ronaldo with a hat trick, and again, you know the two up, they end up two two. It could have maybe gone against them. The poor uh, just, back, just a they? real, yeah. I mean, look at the goals they've conceded. I think it's double what Liverpool have conceded yeah, this yeah. season. So, yeah. yeah, they're in a really, really poor spot. Yeah, and that nineteen point gap as well. They played the game more than Liverpool. They've somehow just sort of hung on, and the, the you know the. Lingering like a the smell of a bad fart, uh, just knocking round in there uh, in fifth place. Uh, but it feels like they should be much lower than that, given the, the type of quality that they produce. Obviously, um, earlier in the season we go there and win five 0 I'm I'm still made up about that. Yeah. To be honest, I'm still there. Uh, like there was a conversation the other day about um, you know doing what your match of the season is, and, and you know doing that sort of that content again around what your your favourite game. And I was like, well, I know there's a lot to come and a lot, a lot of things that could happen between now and the end of the season. I was like, but if you just want to film mine now, mm. it's sound because that was yeah. mine. <laughs> yeah, it'll take some beating. And yeah. I think, you know, that's the other thing, really. You know, if you are a United player and you've been on the end of that, if you had anything about you, anything at all, you'd be like, well, we're putting that right. And it'll be interesting to see what they do on Tuesday, how they come out, because, you know, any personal pride at all, you'd want to put some wrongs right because it was a really bad day for them uh, in every respect. You know, we literally took them apart. And again, it, it could have been Liverpool decided it was going to be five, and that's it. United didn't decide oh, that. Yeah, stopped, yeah. Liverpool stopped because there was some horrendous challenges going. You know, Paul Pogba gets sent, but we decided to call it a five. It could have been nine. It could I'm have been ten. I'm not, and I'm, well. I'm not even joking. It yeah. could have been nine or ten. Easy. Um, so yeah, that was a bad day for them. It was a great day for us. It was a listen. This is what this Liverpool team is about. If you get them on a, on, a, on, a, on a good day from their perspective, they can do absolutely anything to you. And we were brilliant that day. Uh, you know, I remember Naby Keita starting that game and starting it really, really well. Uh, there was others too. Um, but yeah, you have to say, Rob, that will just live long in the memory. Absolutely. Regardless of what happens this season or, or seasons to come, to go to one of your greatest rivals and absolutely wipe the floor with them in their own backyard doesn't get much better. It doesn't. I can say that wholeheartedly. Uh, okay, um, I mean, this is two Liverpool fans talking, of course, but let, so I'll just hit you with a load of facts, yeah? And this isn't us spinning facts, these are facts. So Liverpool 
looking to complete the league double over Manchester United for the first time since 1314. Manchester United are winless in their last five away league games against Liverpool, drawn three, lost two, scored only one goals, one goal in those matches. All right, the Reds, thanks for watching a little bit of a premium Anfield Wrap video there. If you want to watch the rest of that show and get access to much, much more, click join below. That activates our YouTube membership. It means you get a premium video every day of the week. You get our post-match content. You get reviews, previews and exclusive interviews all here from the heart of Liverpool. Follow us, follow them. Up the Reds.